Hi all, this is Kabira and you're watching my channel. Today's vlog is not only special but is really closer to my heart because I'm not going to you know share my experience of a recent place which I visited or of a restaurant but it is of a medical test. Yes, you all heard it right. All you lovely ladies out there, I'm going to share my experience of a medical test which I have recently undergone in the hospital. The test is called HSG which is hysteriosilingogram. I guess I said the name right. This test is basically used to check if you know the fallopian tubes which are a part of a reproductive system are blocked or not blocked. But the reason that you know why I am creating this particular video is uh, that you know when my gynecologist told me that I have to undergo this test the first thing which I did was when I came out of my doctor's chamber is of course I did a Google search though Google was kind enough to provide me all the adequate data which is required that is what kind of a procedure it is what this test would result into uh, where all this test can be done in India uh, or, but you know there were not even a single video you know which would express a real feeling or an experience of a patient or a woman yes I was so shocked though there were a lot of videos by clinicians and other gynecologists on YouTube which also provided me a lot of information but I always wanted to hear you know somebody who can express their experience that they had gone through there was not there, though there were a lot of women from outside India who had expressed but none was from India that moment itself I thought you know whatever you know the experience of the test is good bad painful not painful even if my fallopian tubes were blocked not blocked I'm going to create this vlog for all you lovely ladies out there who were you know or probably who are in my position at this point in time so this vlog is for all of you before I just start my vlog I would like to lay an emphasis that I am not a gynecologist or a healthcare practitioner hence my views are from my personal experience that is the during the day that I had spent in the hospital for an HSG test to check my fallopian tubes so for all medical related and technical queries it is advisable that you should reach out to your gynecologist who is the best person for you all I remember the time when it was the day of my test in the morning uh, me and my husband both of us you know landed to the hospital somewhere in the morning at around 10 which was told you know by my gynecologist to reach in time uh, I was also advised that I should not eat or drink anything in the morning and I should be there uh, in the hospital empty stomach. Uh, we were there in the hospital on time and then we paid the registration fees and uh, the fees for the test. Then my nurse you know, took me to the gynecologist. The moment I entered, you know, my gynecologist again asked me the question that do you want to go for this test without an anesthesia or with an anesthesia? Yes, my dear friends, one more thing that I would like to tell you is this particular test can be done both ways. One is, you know, general anesthesia uh, in which you would be a, a, a specialist who is an anesthetist uh, would be giving you an anesthesia and you would be unconscious and the test can be done. And thereafter, uh, in few hours, uh, you know, once you gain consciousness, you can go back home. While there is another option for the test which can be done in the OPD, of course not in the doctor chamber, but then you just walk into the hospital and then uh, you could be, you can just do the test and then come back to your home. So what I, uh, you know, planned that, you know, I would not go with the anesthesia test. But my doctor always advised me that yes, certainly it is going to make you uncomfortable. For the second option, yes, with uh, not with a heavy heart but with a determined heart, you know, I told my doctor, nevertheless, not a problem, I would go for uh, you know, the test without an anesthesia. So, on the prescription, you know, she wrote uh, one painkiller injection, and I guess there was a tablet uh, which she wrote, and there was some uh, you know, general uh, injections which are required for the procedure. When she wrote about the tablet, you know. 
know and I got that from the pharmacy which can only be given now on prescription I had a notion that I had to eat that tablet but uh, to my surprise the nurse told me that I need to go to the washroom and insert the tablet on the lower part of my body I was a little uncomfortable when you know she told me uh, but then I went to the washroom inserted you know the tablet the tablet was this much small in size I inserted it and I came out and uh, I was you know made to sit outside uh, uh, the room where the procedure had to take place for about 20 minutes there after 20 minutes the nurse had come and she told me that I need to pass urine and then I can be inside um, and in between that 20 minutes I was also given uh, you know a painkiller injection and when my nurse gave me the painkiller inj injection there was absolutely no pain while injecting you know the injection so I was relieved ah that you know since there is no pain now there will not be any pain at all during the procedure as well so while I was seated for the next 20 minutes my husband was holding my hand and then he was you know trying to make me you know brave that you know nothing will happen don't worry it's just a 15 20 minutes procedure I'm just outside at any point in time if you don't feel comfortable just let me know we will not do this test so on and so forth so but then I was determined that you know that I was strong enough that you know yes nothing is gonna happen so then I went inside and I was given uh, the hospital clothes which I had to change because I couldn't you know undergo the test in my clothes which I was wearing and then while I entered the room it was a big room and there was a table which had a glass on it on which I had to lie down and on top of it there was a yellow color bulb uh, so it was like an x-ray machine a kind of an x-ray machine which and the films I knew I had to I would be uh, some films of my fallopian tubes would be taken which the doctor would be seeing outside the room and I would be uh, you know uh, be told about the results of the test so I was told to lie down on the table and um, and also the doctor came inside uh, she washed her hands made herself uh, you know quite clean and also she wore uh, the surgical the operation clothes and there were uh, two nurses uh, and I was told to lie down on uh, the table uh, towards the edge of the table you know and there was a dustbin which was there at the bottom so that you know anything that falls off should fall on the dustbin so as to make the room neat and tidy Thereafter, there were two nurses, I remember they were holding my hands very softly, very subtly just to make me comfortable and there were another two people who were, you know, holding my legs um, since I had to make them in an upright position so that, you know, the lower part of my body is aptly placed so that there are no issues during the surgical procedure. Then came my doctor again inside and then she started the test. So I was lying down at the back, I couldn't see of course anything but uh, I was remembering my mom, my husband, my family, everybody you know at that point in time and of course God was always there with me. I was chanting few things inside my uh, you know mind and which of course I couldn't say aloud so and plus my heartbeat was really fast which is obvious because of anxiety. When the doctor started the test she clearly told me now I'm starting your test and I'm going to clean you. I said okay fine I don't know what is she going to do and the moment she said I'm going to clean you she had inserted some equipment into my body the moment she inserted that equipment and she you know swapped you know through it there was pain and the pain was not like you know of a needle or if somebody has hit me or I have met with an accident you know especially on the road it was like cramping the same cramping that we get when we get our periods but the cramping was at a level which was too high <laughs> because I had never ever experienced that in my life but nevertheless uh, the ladies you know besides me they were holding my hand so that I don't make any movement and I was also you know I was uh, closing my eyes and I was saying ouch I was saying oh my god but the gynecologist was consoling me no problem we're almost done we're almost done and within three four minutes I remember she said now it's going to be uncomfortable and when she inserted you know she used to inject something which is probably a dye and the moment she used to inject something I could feel that some liquid is passing inside my body and when that liquid would pass 
the pain threshold would arise and then I would say oh my god and then she would say no problem and then she would instruct the people outside you know to take the film and then she did it again and she did it thrice you know when she did it for the third time I had no energy left yes my eyes were closed I was feeling sleepy you know I had no no energy left only there was pain on the lower part of my body it was not like a stomach ache it was like cramping you know and the cramping may went to multifold when she inserted that liquid or probably that dye to check out and she did that for three times so once it was done you know three times she was all the time you know consoling me saying yes we are almost done yes we are almost done and once it was done she just removed those equipments within a second and when they, those equipments were also getting removed yes there was cramping so it was all over and you know she cleaned it properly with an uh, tincture iodine so that I don't catch any infection you know since it was a surgical procedure. Thereafter since I was completely exhausted I was not even able to get up. Though I was completely conscious I was talking but I was thirsty as well. Then I asked my doctor can I have a glass of water she said after 10 minutes then there was a nurse who helped me out you know and then I I wore back my clothes uh, yes but one more thing you know I would like to tell you is I started bleeding of course you know anybody would but the bleeding was not profuse it was you know very lesser bleeding and I also carried my sanitary napkin you know to so I wore that uh, and you know and there was uh, tincture iodine which was there I could see it you know, I could feel it basically then I wore my clothes I came out and I was just sitting in the fan for some time and after 10 minutes I was given a cold glass of water but I wasn't able to walk. I, I, it was impossible for me to walk because of severe severe cramping which was still continuing. Then I was given a wheelchair and with the help of a helper or the nurse I was taken to the doctor chamber wherein she told me my results which were like really good and they actually made me so happy you know that everything was clear there was nothing to worry but an honest thing which I really want to express is after the test was over I had actually forgotten that what the result will be because it was so much painful you know I just forgot about the test you know that is what that what the result would be because I'm sure the doctor will certainly know about the test but nevertheless everything went on well and then she told me that you know on the, that I need to take some uh, mild antibiotics to uh, you know prevent any risk of infection since it was a surgical procedure I could go back home have lunch the bleeding will stop in some time probably a day or a two and the pain would also subside if the pain persists for some time she advised me that I can take uh, you know something for the spasm which we generally take uh, during our menstrual cycle but she uh, you know made me comfortable that everything is going to be fine it's okay everything went on really well I was also happy but that pain was still there then on my way you know from my hospital to my home I took a glass of juice so that I could get a bit of energy since it was extremely hot as well I had a glass of juice came back home you know and I was lying the whole day yes I couldn't get up but yes in the evening after three four hours I remember I came back home around 2.30, we went at 10 o'clock, so the test, everything, you know, completed uh, for about 5 to 6 hours. I was back home at 2.30, I was lying, I was sleepy, there was not much energy. My husband was kind enough, you know, to prepare, you know, lunch and then we had lunch, I remember, on the bed and I was just sleeping. I woke up in the evening, uh, you know, went for a small walk in my house itself, you know, but yes, there was cramping, but the level of cramping was extremely less. I didn't take any, uh, you know, painkillers after uh, the, you know, after I came back home and in the night I prepared my dinner and next day I was ready for my office, yes. So this particular test, you know, generally all uh, the symptoms which will make you uncomfortable will subside back within few hours. But you have to be determined and strong enough that everything is going to be fine. But next day, you know, when I was, I also remember one thing that when I was going to my office and there were some, the roads were bumpy, yes, 
you know when my car would uh, just uh, move you know yes i could feel uh, the pain that is cramping on the lower part of my body but that also uh, you know subsided within 24 hours so that is the whole journey of my uh, test which i under i had undergone on hsg i hope you know i am able to you know solve all the anxiousness which you have in your mind so i am like i said before i am not a gynecologist i am just here to share my experience in that tenure of 5 6 hours which i have spent in the hospital how my experience was how much time did i take to recover back so if you like my videos do subscribe to my channel and keep watching and i am also sure so this is all about my experience of the HSG test. I hope I'm able to solve all your you know, questions which you have in your mind regarding the experience of this particular test that is the time which I spent in the hospital for about 5 to 6 hours. There's one more thing ladies which I really want to express is that um, you know my heart felt gratitude and nod to all the lovely mums who have taken so much pain you know to give birth to a life yes it is tough i have really realized and uh, i'm sure you know all you ladies out there you know god will have of course good plans for you so all of you who are heading towards this test my best wishes god and the moment she said i'm going to clean you she had inserted some equipment into my body the moment she inserted that equipment and she you know swapped you know through it there was pain and the pain was not like you know of a needle or if somebody has hit me or I have met with an accident you know especially on the road it was like cramping the same cramping that we get when we get our periods but the cramping was at a level which was too high <laughs> because I had never ever experienced that in my life but nevertheless, uh, the ladies, you know, besides me, they were holding my hand so that I don't make any movement. And I was also, you know, I was uh, closing my eyes and I was saying, ouch, I was saying, oh my God. But the gynecologist was consoling me, no problem, we are almost done, we are almost done. And within three, four minutes, I remember she said, now it's going to be uncomfortable. And when she inserted, you know, she used to inject something, which is probably a dye. And the moment she used to inject something, I could feel that some liquid is passing inside my body. And when that liquid would pass, the pain threshold would arise. And then I would say, oh my god. And then she would say, no problem. And then she would instruct the people outside, you know, to take the film. And then she did it again. And she did it thrice, you know. When she did it for the third time, I had no energy left yes my eyes were closed i was feeling sleepy you know i had no no energy left only there was pain on the lower part of my body it was not like a stomach ache it was like cramping you know and the cramping may went to multifold when she inserted that liquid or probably that dye to check out and she did that for three times so once it was done, you know, three times, she was all the time, you know, consoling me saying, yes, we're almost done. Yes, we're almost done. And once it was done, she just removed those equipments within a second. And when they, those re equipments were also getting removed, yes, there was cramping. So it was all over and, you know, she cleaned it properly within uh, tincture iodine so that I don't catch any infection, you know, since it was a surgical procedure. Thereafter, since I was completely exhausted, I was not even able to get up. Though I was completely conscious, I was talking, but I was thirsty as well. When I asked my doctor, can I have a glass of water? She said after 10 minutes, then there was a nurse who helped me out, you know, and then I, I wore back my clothes. Uh, yes, but one more thing, you know, I would like to tell you is I started bleeding. Of course, you know, anybody would, but the bleeding was not profuse. It was, you know, very less of bleeding. And I also carried my sanitary nap. You know, to so I wore that, uh, and you know, and there was uh, tincture iodine which was there. I could see it, you know, I could feel it basically. Then I wore my clothes. I came out, and I was just sitting in the fan for some time. And after ten minutes, I was given a cold glass of water, but I wasn't able to walk. 
I, I, it was impossible for me to walk because of severe, severe cramping which was still continuing. Then I was given a wheelchair and with the help of a helper or the nurse, I was taken to the doctor chamber wherein she told me my results which were like really good and they actually made me so happy, you know, that everything was clear, there was nothing to worry. But an honest thing which I really want to express is after the test was over, I had actually forgotten that what the result will be because it was so much painful, you know. I just forgot about the test, you know, that is what, that, what the result would be because I'm sure the doctor will certainly know about the test. But nevertheless, everything went on well and then she told me that, you know, on the, that I need to take some uh, mild antibiotics to, uh, you know, prevent any risk of infection since it was a surgical procedure. I could go back home, have lunch, the bleeding will stop in some time, probably a day or a two and the pain would also subside. If the pain persists for some time, she advised me that I can take, uh, you know, something for the spasm which we generally take uh, during our menstrual cycle. But she, uh, you know, made me comfortable that everything is going to be fine, it's okay, everything went on really well. I was also happy but then pain was still there. Then on my way, you know, from my hospital to my home, I took a glass of juice so that I could get a bit of energy since it was extremely hot as well. I had a glass of juice, came back home, you know, and I was lying the whole day. Yes, I couldn't get up. But yes, in the evening after 3-4 hours, I remember I came back home around 2.30. We went at 10 o'clock, so the test, everything, you know, completed uh, for about 5-6 to six hours. I was back home at 2.30. I was lying. I was sleepy. There was not much energy. My husband was kind enough, you know, to prepare, you know, lunch. And then we had lunch, I remember, on the bed and I was just sleeping. I woke up in the evening. Uh, you know went for a small walk in my house itself you know but yes there was cramping but the level of cramping was extremely less I didn't take any uh, you know painkillers after uh, the you know after I came back home and in the night I prepared my dinner and next day I was ready for my office yes so this particular test, you know, generally all uh, the symptoms which will make you uncomfortable will subside back within few hours. But you have to be determined and strong enough that everything is going to be fine. But next day, you know, when I was, I also remember one thing that when I was going to my office and there were some, the roads were bumpy, yes, you know, when my car would uh, just uh, move, you know, yes, I could feel uh, the pain that is cramping on the lower part of my body. But that also, uh, you know, subsided within 24 hours. So this was my experience of an HSG test to check if my fallopian tubes were blocked or not. I hope I'm, I have I've been able to solve all your queries and questions regarding how I experienced that test as a patient. So if you have any further queries on the same, please you can just type them in the comment section and I'll be happy to help. Just like I said before, I am not a gynecologist or a healthcare practitioner. These views are only from an experience which I had recently. But nevertheless, still if you have anything, do let me know. And if you like my uh, vlog, do log in you know, and subscribe to my channel. Keep watching!